Today we're going to talk about and see how much progress Sony sensors really have made in the last 25 years. As someone who delves into camera reviews and crazy comparisons, I'm always fascinated by the specs, the promises and the reality behind these technological marvels. Every year we are bombarded with claims of the best, best, the most incredible and groundbreaking improvements. Today we're taking a thrilling ride through time, comparing two game-changing handicaps, one from the year 2000 and the other from 2008, and finally the cutting-edge Sony Xperia 1 Mark V phone from 2023. You will see the difference of image between the cameras and a head-to-head A-B test between the Xperia and the SR11 from 2008. That's right guys, we're spanning 23 years of innovation in the blink of an eye. In the early 2000s, when they weren't that good at inventing cool names for these products, the Sony DCR-TRV6E stood as a symbol of innovation with its compact design and Carl Zeiss lens. The quality of colors, white balance, and operation in all situations like low light was amazing in that time. Eight years later, the appetite for higher quality and more storage grew exponentially. Enter the Sony HDR SR11E, a marvel of its time. From the standard definition 640 to 480 pixels to high definition 920 by 1080 pixels was a 6.7 times higher resolution jump and no more 60 minute mini DV tapes but hours of hard disk recording in the palm of your hand. True progress. Between the TRV6 and the SSR11 was a huge step. Fast forward 15 years into the era of smartphones, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V represents the culmination of Sony's technological progression with a triple lens camera system co-engineered again with size optics the Xperia 1 Mark V captures stunning 4K HDR videos but I don't think you will find it such a huge leap of progress from the SR11 to the Xperia in some cases the 15 year old Handycam even is, is better of course the TRV6 doesn't have to be in this AB comparing. It has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, so you would immediately see it. Now, instead of talking, I want to show it to you. And you decide for yourself. And tell me after if you are a bit disappointed in this 15 year leap of technological advancement. How much better things got in reality? Well, grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's dive into this epic comparison. Want to see more about the Xperia? Check out this popular video comparing it to the iPhone. And like and subscribe to see more filmmaking and photography videos. That would help the channel a lot. Now the result. Many times in daytime, the color, I prefer the Handycam. And in low light, you don't have this weird purple tint. So I think you can know that the result is, drum roll please. <laughs> camera A is the Handycam and camera B, is the Xperia 1 Mark V. Mind blowing, right? Did you guess right? And why? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys.